Sea Turtles. Their population, once endangered, is now recovering with the help of a group of HPA students led by HPA marine biologist Mark Rice. The green sea turtle is an endangered species, was well, listed as threatened actually, uh, so you couldn't work with them unless you were under a federal permit. Well, in 1986 and 87, we met up with George Balaz of the National Marine Fisheries Service, and uh, he had an ongoing tagging program that was throughout the state and also uh, did some tagging here on the Big Island. And so we joined him in 1987 on the first trip with the University of Hawaii. Our main goal here in assisting the National Marine Fisheries Service in their research is to capture and tag green sea turtles and hawksbill turtles here in Hawaii so that we would be able to identify them again if they are ever recaptured. Well, first we go down to the beach and uh, we capture the turtles, bring them back to the station. We're able to find out the last time we captured them through their pit tags that we inserted through their flippers. And uh, we read those tags upon bringing them on shore. Of course, in between the capture, the tagging, and so on, we do a lot of what are called morphometrics, or body measurements, so that we know how fast they're growing and, and uh, what their health status is. We measure them, uh, weigh them, and check for their health. The first time I grabbed the turtle, it was, it was weird. I, I never, I had a pet tortoise, which was like that big, and I was expecting it to be like small and light. Uh, but it was really heavy. I think the first turtle I got was a 100-pounder. 